Hey guys, it's your favorite Dinobot here, and today I decided to do this one, in all honesty, because realizing we're getting around to, I mean, it's, it's going to be goaded, and then the sheer fact that, yo, this could actually work for the MonsterVerse, right? And with Godzilla X Kong, the new empire, still haven't seen it yet, but I still think that this should be done, kind of in honor of it, and I actually thought about this here, right? What if instead of having, you know, Power Rangers cross over with the Godzilla, we kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for, integrate or at least build a Power Rangers team within the Godzillaverse. Now, the reason why I chose the Monsterverse is because it has some of the most grounded and one of the one of the few things I would actually want from the newer generation of Power Rangers is more of a realistic tone here have the power rangers be hunted by the police or you know people not trusting the power rangers here there have been some you know versions of the power rangers that are more public or where they pretty much show their face to the public and stuff and people know who they are but again um more often than not they're in secret here but what if we actually put the power rangers from power rangers dino thunder within the monsters like the all these characters are born within the monsters including their villains here so let's really begin with that right now believe it or not i actually think this could work here now i actually had to really decide on what power rangers i wanted to use here because i was really stuck between um uh what's it called samurai jungle fury dino thunder and mystic force but more often than not i kind of lean towards dino thunder because of how they would actually work believe it or not being one of the stronger generations of power rangers due to again tommy scaling here is actually pretty important here and plus their zords work a lot more oh almost forgot i also thought about wild force i was actually more stuck between dino thunder and wild force because again those zords could work like they really could here and the thing is, the MonsterVerse is based on not only a more scientific method, but more on a fictional method as well. Because again, we do have the more alien route here with King Ghidorah, which again, we could explore more in the future. And judging by Godzilla x Kong, the new Empire's box office numbers, or at least, you know, the audience score and stuff like that, um... Yeah, we're definitely getting more MonsterVerse. No time soon here. Now, the best way we could actually have, whatchamacallit, um, the uh, Power Rangers pretty much introduced here is really through Tommy. And I do think Tommy would actually be perfect for a monarch, scientist, more in the modern age than pretty much back then because I really think it just fits overall here. Now, we also have to talk about the villain, Dash Tommy's, you know, former friend here, Anton Mercer. And again, it's pretty simple. Just keep it the same like it was. He and Tommy are partners, and he does wind up adopting Trent. I would actually say he adopts Trent um, during the Muto incident, or at least after it, because again, it just makes the most sense here. So Trent would have had his family killed during one of the earthquakes with the Mutos, would have been pretty much a homeless orphan adopted by Mercer. The rest goes from there. Now, here's where I think that Tommy and Anton's work for Monarch would then turn into an obsession, which would yield different results here. You see, Tommy would have been obsessed with actually learning about the Hollow Earth energy and how it could apply to better humanity. And this is where, during one of his Hollow Earth trips here, because again, I do think he would have been one of the best tap subjects for the He when it was successful. And um, this would wind up having Tommy find the Dino Gems in the Hollow Earth here, but in more of a very dangerous environment. However, let's just say he would have got through it somehow. Now, for the rest of the Rangers, Connor would have been... I would actually say seen or cameoed during the events of 2014 where his soccer game is basically ruined by the male Muto on one of its devastating rampages to claim nuclear energy. So Connor would have been one of the few people that are just victimized by the Kaiju in an indirect manner. Now, this would have gave Connor possibly a hatred for the Kaiju. Maybe. Yes. No. Or again, he would have just been you know, felt like he was just attacked here. 
Now, Ethan. Ethan actually gets a little bit more tragic here as he would also kind of have the same experience Trent has. But during the events of King of the Monsters, his family, were, his mother and father would actually be at work when Behemoth swipes his tusk through their building and winds up killing them. So, unfortunately, yeah, Trent, yeah, I'm um, sorry, Ethan, your parents are dead. Yeah, it just, it just sucks. Now, next up, we have Kira. Kira would have actually been a singer, and this is where one of the few things that actually does play out within her story is, again, during the events of King and the Monsters. With during that event, or maybe during the events of Godzilla vs. Kong, during one of Godzilla's rampages around Apex's um, base and stuff like that, this is where... You know, Godzilla shooting his atomic breath all over the place does have consequences, devastating her concert, and, well, almost killing her. Which would, again, kind of fuel the Rangers a bit hatred for the Kaiju, but they would have to eventually learn that they are a part of the natural order. Now, I do think this group would have met during a Monarch reformation program where Monarch is basically helping these people after the Titan incident. Because, again, I don't think it would make sense if Monarch did not have a facility that was pretty much dedicated to helping people. I mean, these Titans are destroying cities, destroying livelihoods. And again, let's be real, government probably wouldn't care. I mean, it's, it is the government, so it, it kind of is what it is here. And then... I do think the group would eventually hang out, meet each other, and they probably would have interned or maybe helped out at the Monarch program. But then following Trent and Dr. O, they would have discovered the Dino Gems. They all would have been picked by their specific Dino Gems, glowing and resonating with them. And then, well, now they're pretty much indoctrinated into Monarch's essentially super soldier program. <laughs> And this is where the Power Rangers essentially happen. However, not just yet. You see, I still want things with the MonsterVerse to kind of play out like they originally do here. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because the Rangers would actually be in the Hollow Earth training. Now, why would I say use the Hollow Earth? Because it makes the most sense. You see, the Rangers are going to be fighting giant monsters. So what's the best way for the Rangers to do that than go into the Hollow Earth and we can actually see them fighting things like, um, you know, spike crawlers, um, skull crawlers as well, war bats and stuff like that. But again, they're training to control their powers. They might kill a few, but again, they're training. They don't really intend to mean it. Now, let's talk about their villain, Mezagoth. I do think at some point Anton and Tom would have had a falling out here during the development of the Biozords, to which Mercer would then try to find his own way and thus would actually discover Apex or at least build Apex in trying to, you know, trying to put humanity back on top here or with his own obsession, bring about the age of the Titans. Yeah, I know it sounds pretty crazy and insane but it also goes in line with mesagog's goals mm -hmm. meaning anton is more of a willing mesagog than one that is simply against it now the reason why i would say anton would be more willing is because again that obsession pretty much drives people to do just unrealistic things here now how does he become mesagog well i don't think it would be too hard to get a sample of godzilla's blood considering all the kaiju he fight are pretty much bladed or at least you know basically can make this dude bleed or cut him in any form of way so getting godzilla's blood shouldn't be too hard right and then using that some experimentation to make it safe he winds up drinking it and becoming mesagog like he does in the original power ranger story yay except this mega god mesagog would probably look a bit scarier and probably a combination of more godzilla and human like features than before now let's talk about the zords here now, believe it or not, I do think it would have been a race between Mezagog and Tommy or Apex and Monarch to create their own Zords. All right. And I do think that, in all honesty, I do think Tommy would definitely have a backup plan as well and actually creating his own Alpha One. Now, you might say, would it be actually Alpha One? No, 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 no. Let me cook real quick. You see, with the Megazord in general, it does take five Zords, or at least in Dino Thunder's case, three Zords, or one, and sometimes two, which is actually pretty interesting how the Zords kind of went like in a backwards number. 
you had the Thunder Source, which took three Zords to combine, the Dino Stegosaur, which took two, and then the Triassic Rover or the Triassic Megazord, which took one Zord to combine. Yeah, I think I think the development of the Biozords wouldn't be too hard considering Tommy found the perfect way to combine both organic and technological benefits, which is absolutely ridiculous. And then to give them sentient like other dinosaurs, it again would be very beneficial. Now, you also have to remember the Zords here would be a lot bigger than they were in the original. They would actually be Titan size, meaning that the Zords would probably be around... Jesus Christ, um, some of them will probably be around like 300 to maybe even like 200 feet at the lowest, with the Megazord probably being a stacked up of around, what's the, what's the most estimate I could probably give, probably around the same size as 2014, maybe 2018 Godzilla. Yeah, I know it's insane here, but again, they're using things like the Hollow Earth Energy, plus Tommy again knows how to somehow combine mechanical and realistic tendencies of both machine and dinosaur again tommy is probably one of the smartest people in fiction probably one of the smartest creators alive I, I'm, I'm just saying dude legit found a way and now does this mean they will succeed every time no 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 but i do think if it took work between pretty much tommy and other you know anton mercer and smitty which was Zeltrax, um, I think that Monarch Scientists, which are probably a bit, you know, smarter and have a lot more resources, could easily make the Dinosaurs. And again, I do think they would base them on the Titans here. You see, each Zord would actually be based on dealing with a specific set of Titans. For example, the Dragozord would likely have speed comparable, if not flat out faster than Rodan here. Probably giving it light speed capabilities by using, I guess you could say, what makes the hollow, Earth, hollow Earth's portals. And then using things like the gravitational inverse and studying it to probably give the Dragozord maybe faster than light speeds. But I also think this would cause the creation of Jet Jaguar a bit earlier in the MonsterVerse than probably whatever they would probably do with him down the line. Now you see Jet Jaguar is actually perfect for that Alpha 1 position, considering there's both a Kaiju body and the short body. Using the Hollow Earth's energy, they could easily have Jet Jaguar use size manipulation and say that, well, he's able to bend and manipulate the Hollow Earth energy to use it to increase the size of his body and then to shrink it. Keep in mind, Jet Jaguar would probably also have his arms or at least some parts of his body be very comparable, if not be the actual perfected version of Kong's Beast Glove. Keep in mind that Kong Beast Glove we see in the movie and are literally stated by the toy bio, so this is not even spoilers in the slightest, is stated to be a prototype. Meaning that Kong is pretty much wrecking whoever he hits with that with an incomplete version of the Beast Glove. So, yeah, um, Jet Jaguar probably hitting with the force of a meteor or at least something stronger than that because it's perfected now. With him also probably using the Hollow Earth energy the same way Mechagodzilla can. Yeah, he's definitely going to be a beast on the battlefield. Combine that with the Megazord. And then, yeah, um, they cooking. They, they really are cooking. Now, what about Mezagog, right? Let, let's go over to the villain. Now, Mezagog would probably create Mechagodzilla. However, he would probably give the product to someone else to kind of hide it under the tables that he's working on something better. The Mechagodzilla we see in the MonsterVerse is what we pretty much got here, was Apex is using their resources and technology to pretty much create that. However, um, Mesogog being smarter than Apex scientists and likely using his own scientists paid by him and whoever he pretty much has along with him here, would then create the Dragon Zord. And I actually think the Dragon Zord would be a combination of, well, pretty much the Dragon Zord's color scheme with Kiryu-like features. Meaning that the Dragon Zord would actually be a bio-organic or biomechanical um, organism. Kind of like how Cell is or how the Dinozords are. And in all honesty, I could actually see the Power Rangers making their debut after Godzilla x Kong the New Empire in a movie that probably just titled Godzilla vs. the Power Rangers. I think that would be simple. 
And I think that would be straightforward. With them using the Zora combinations to pretty much beat up Godzilla here. Probably a combination of the Ankylo Zord and the other Zords as well. With them being able to fight against other monsters. And maybe, maybe being security for the Hollow Earth as well. So that no other Titans can really come out if they get past Kong. Because again, I do think after the New Empire and how devastating these events have been over and over again for Monarch, they're going to want something to help keep the Titans really in check here. And I actually think Mezagog will go on to create more monsters. I could actually see him creating Orga. Well, let's be real. That sounds like something Mezagog would create. We, I think we all watched Power Rangers Dino Thunder as a kid. Probably still watching it till this very day because I know me and my little god brother love it. And then Megalon, Gigan. Maybe even Mecha King Ghidorah. I, I, I can just see all these things playing out within this verse. Like, think about it. Mezogod not only would have the resources and technology to keep Godzilla distracted, if not cloak his island or his experimental place, maybe even using Skull Island itself. here. Because remember, Skull Island is covered in a storm. It's dark. It's mysterious. It's perfect for Mezogod here. But what would be the final battle or Mezogog's final form? Well, gotta say Destroyer. It makes perfect sense here. Think about it. Godzilla's the Alpha Titan. Mezogog wants to bring the Age of the Titans, but now I know Godzilla wouldn't stand with him. So why not turn himself into a Kaiju and have him go against the Power Rangers and Godzilla? And the way I would end it is that the Zords get thrashed here and Godzilla almost dies. However, when the smoke clears, all they have is just not only the Power Rangers who are now Zordless, but still have their powers, but they also still have Jet Jaguar to kind of remain as their like giant kaiju fighter, while the Power Rangers are also capable of holding their own here. So, in all honesty, what if Power Rangers were in the MonsterVerse? We could have a lot, especially with Mezagog there as well. And Tommy honestly would have been one of the greatest, I guess you could say, scientists, if not one of the greatest heroes of all time within that verse, actually giving humanity a fighting chance. They probably would have rebuilt the Megazord at some point here or used another Megazord, maybe actually making the Triassic Megazord or maybe even giving Trent his own Megazord with the Dragozord and the Stegazord. But in all honesty, there are so many things you could do with this and it... it honestly could really work for the monster so i hope they really do consider this crossover in the future but that's gonna be all for today you guys please comment down below like and subscribe and share it to friends this is legendary grimlock and i hope y'all have a blessed day